it makes you feel like you see a path? I always feel good. Why not? Nah, I'm not a I'm not a past guy too much. I'm more of a present guy, so you know we just got to figure out how we can be better in game three. Is it hard not to get demoralized though when you play so much better than you played in game one? Aside from the three point shooting, you played really well. No, we did, we did. Um, well, I mean. Got a little out of control towards the end, so you know um, we're not worried about that. But um, you know we made runs. Um, you know we cut it to four at one point, and then they went on a quick. I don't know, it was a nine zero run or twelve zero run. What they do? That's what Golden State do. If you you know make a mistake, like I said, we had a turnover. It came from me, you know, and uh, you know and then we had a miscue, and you know the floods opened again. I just thought it was more physical at the point of attack, you know, uh, less much, uh, not as much uh, freedom of movement at the point of attack, um, you know, so a lot of us get our hands, we was, we was more active too with our hands, you know, we didn't, we tend to kind of pride ourselves on deflections and we didn't do that in game one, I think we did a better job of that in game two. You obviously know the Warriors well, you played the last three years, and the championship rounds, do you feel like you guys have a sense of the Ramp Warriors, like all over the Warriors? Uh, they're a different team, they're a different team, uh, you, know, um, you know, you guys asked me what was the, the difference, and I told you, so they're a different team. LeBron, you just feel this is a case where you guys need to defend home court at this point? Uh, well, I mean, are you a smart guy? I think so. I think so, right? So if we don't defend home court, what happens? But yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm asking you. Well, yeah, then you guys are looking at getting swept. All right. So the answer to your question. LeBron, did you hear anything? Are you going to need? Did you get any, or will you need any IV? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Just need some food and some, some wine, I'll be all right. Hey, LeBron, usually you're a podium guy. I mean, in the finals especially, just come and doing this in the locker room, there's a reason for that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a reason. You want to share? No. When Kyrie's having a rough night. It has nothing to do with wins and losses, though. When Kyrie's having a rough night, like, is there anything you can tell him to encourage him? Of course, yeah. And I just told him, you know, just continue to be patient. The game will come to you. You know, and just keep asserting yourself, and uh, we got to figure out a way to get him going, get him going early. You know, um, you know, he's been such a big piece of our success the last three years, obviously. So, you know, we could do a better job of trying to get him going early. And he missed some chippies, you know, some ones that he's so accustomed to making. You know, but you know, we do a better job of that in Game Three as well. Um, you know, for me, you know, I'm, I feel much better on on the road, so. You know, you go home, and people tend to get more comfortable. You know, your own bed and your own you know, facilities and things of that nature. So, and for me, it doesn't change. I'm, I'm the same way on the road or at home. I still have this like this bunker mentality when it comes to playing ball. So, you know, we look forward to it. Our fans are looking forward to it. We know that. So, you know, we gotta give them something to cheer for. Um, I think it will. Right now, it means nothing, but it, it will. It will mean something. Um, you know, he's one of the greatest to play this game. Right now, uh, you know, individuality for me means absolutely nothing when it comes to this team sport. Uh, but when I'm done, I'll probably look back on it and say it was a cool feat. Thank you. Two more. Brown, they trying to take Chris What can you do to get him done? Yeah, they, they've been out there talking a lot about just trying to keep a body on him, a couple bodies on him. But, you know, um, you know he's a big piece to our success, and they know that. So um, they've, they've neutralized that in the first two games. One last question. Over the next 48 hours, what is your process going to be like as far as trying to find a way to you know, make adjustments and figure out where you need that deal? Like, uh, what do you mean? Like, you know, last year you were in, you're kind of in this position too. Sort of yeah. uh, that's a Coach Lou question. That's not a, that's not, that's not a my question. Sorry, I can't answer that. So what? That's a Coach Lou question. You asked me what our practice is going to be like. I don't put the game plan together. I'm sorry. I... All right. Thanks, guys. Right. All right, LeBron James there in the locker room, and uh, can't emphasize enough how unusual that is after a finals game for a star player, certainly one of his status, to do that.